Oh my god, it is so freaking cold in my room right now. I'm literally dying. All I is, nothing feels better than this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a really, really easy um, heart photo edit. So a lot of people ask me how I do these, so I just decided why not make a video instead of having to explain it to them every single time. <laughs> it's cold. Um, it was actually like so freezing in my room, but I didn't want to put on a jacket because it was just gonna take me two seconds to record the intro and the outro, and then I could get under the covers, so. Anyways, yeah, make sure that you guys give this video a big huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Um, and follow me on my social medias, follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok, and yeah, I think that's about it. So let's just get right on into this video. All right guys, so the app that you're gonna be using to make these edits is Pixar. All right, so you're first just gonna press the plus button at the bottom and you're just gonna press all photos and just pick whatever photo you want. I'm just gonna choose a photo of Chase Hudson. All right, so after you're done finding your photo, I'm just gonna choose this one. Um, I'm gonna go down to the tools and I'm gonna crop it because I, this is just a screenshot from Instagram and I don't want the top white part of the thing, if you know what I mean. And then you're just going to go to sticker and then you're going to look up heart emoji and you're going to try to find like a bundle of hearts that you like. You'll get what I mean by bundle um, in a second. But yeah, you're just going to find a bundle of hearts that you really like um, to use for the background. So after you've found yours, I'm just using this one. Then you're going to make the hearts the size that you want. So I just made it this size and you're just gonna put it in the background and at the top there's an eraser. So you're just gonna erase all the parts that are on whoever you're doing this edit for and you wanna make sure that it's not covering any part of them. I usually just go ham on the eraser and then I go back in and I draw the hearts back in. Um, I just feel like it's easier that way and it looks better that way, so yeah. Next, you just want to press on the hearts that you just finished and you're going to duplicate it and you're going to move it to wherever and you're just going to erase and do the same exact thing over and over again. Once you're completely finished with all of the hearts, then you're just going to press the check sign up in the top and then you're going to press apply. Next you're going to go down to the effects and it'll be on this one but you just want to go to blur and then you're going to go to the radial blur and I like to put the thing on their face to make sure that their face isn't blurred out and then you can adjust the, blur the blurriness and all that. Um, I normally just do it for however the picture, I don't really have specific setting. And then you're just going to press apply. And what you can do again, you can go to sticker if you want to add any like text messages. And just find some text messages that you want to put in. I usually look up text messages and then a ton of them will pop up. But these are some of my favorites that I saved or that I've used and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm just going to use these.
So once you're happy with what you've got, then you're just going to press apply and you're going to go down to the effects and blur and then you're going to go to focal zoom and put the little thingy on their face and you can adjust the settings and stuff. Um, I normally don't have a specific setting. I just literally go random with it and just see what looks best. So yeah. Once you're finished, again press apply and then next and press save and save to camera roll and you're basically done all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you give it a big huge thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below also comment down below what you guys would like to see next um turn on my post notifications so that you guys can get notified every single time i post a new video i'm trying to start getting back on my grind because i actually kind of miss making youtube videos so yeah um just hope you guys liked the video and hopefully it was helpful and yeah if you guys want more editing videos like this from me because i do do edits and i do have i actually do have a fan account of my own on chase hudson so if you guys don't know who chase hudson is um it's this beautiful lovely freaking handsome all around literally amazing person he has like the best personality too and I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Instagram and TikTok. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And yeah, bye.